All right, so I want to keep things very simple uh, when talking about MIDI and this application AUM. Um, there is a lot that I will not cover. I consider that getting into the weeds. I consider that you know, either intermediate or advanced. Uh, and the purpose is just to get you started. Uh, I've just been learning in this process that uh, instead of jumping into the deep end, just get your toes dipped, understand some of the basics. Um, that way it can, one, help you get going, um, and two, not scare you away because it can be a little overwhelming if you try and swim in the deep end. So if there's additional things that I don't cover, uh, as I like to say, YouTube is your friend. There's a lot of great tutorials out there. And I hope that something in here um, can help you um, if you are either looking to get into AUM or you've just started um, and maybe aren't quite sure about how the MIDI routing works. So uh, there are, the other thing I want to mention is there are a lot of ways to do MIDI routing in AUM. I'm sure depending on who you talk to, someone's going to say that this is the best way or you know, the way that this person's doing it is not the way you should do it. My suggestion to you is once you get the basics, find something that works for you. If you're all about being super fast and efficient because you've got things to do and places to be, then sure, go for that. Um, but as long as you can get it to work, that's really what matters. So let me go over to this MIDI routing table here and just kind of do a brief overview um, because this gives you a nice visual representation uh, of that. And basically, I think the best way to kind of understand this particular layout is what comes on the top here is going out and going into what's on the right. That's kind of the flow. So as you click on one of these boxes, you can just see that it starts from here and it's flowing into wherever you connect it to. And that's as simple as this. Um, now, let me just go ahead and do some kind of real world um, scenarios and how you would do things. So before I do that, you can internally route MIDI. What I mean by that is you can have, uh, which I'll demonstrate, you can have, I'm just gonna use the word synth apps, but any app, and you can route them to each other with AUM. Then there is external synthesizers, or I should say external gear. So if you've got an external MIDI controller, um, and again, I'm not going to get into that because that talks about, you know, different ways to connect. So I'll be just kind of talking you through that. But what I show you in the internal is just going to be pretty much the same in terms of hooking things up. And I think what I will do is a dedicated video talking about hardware just so you can kind of see how that works. So I'm really going to be focusing more on the internal. And then there's something that is a little bit intermediate. It's internal routing, but outside of AUM. And I'm not going to get into that because, again, that is the intermediate. And it's all dependent on the apps. And if I show you one thing and you have an app that doesn't work, it just causes a lot of confusion and frustration. So, again, the focus, you know, while keeping it simple, is going to be on the internal routing um, that you can do. All right. So we're going to create a audio track here, and I'm just going to pick a synthesizer, and then I'm going to pick a MIDI controller app. And what these are are really irrelevant. Essentially what I'm trying to do is think about it in terms of hardware. This is representing my keyboard, and this is representing my hardware synthesizer. And in the real world, I'm going to use some type of a MIDI cable to connect the two if I want to do that. So we're now doing it virtually. So let's just go over one way of how I could route this. So I could click back on this table, and now you'll notice we have a couple different options based on what I just selected here. So this particular app here, again, you'll know what these things are because of the name. So this is the one that I picked as my... MIDI um, routing device, so to say, so to speak. So I basically want to take this and send it to the synthesizer. So basically, you just kind of follow the box and you tap, and it's connected. There is no way really to expand this. By the way, this is a static, so it, it is a little small. Um, so that's something that you have to kind of keep in mind. And that essentially 
is it in terms of the MIDI routing. All right, so let's talk about another way. Let me take that off. And you've got these little hamburger icons to the left. And again, I want to route this into here. I could click on that. And then it just breaks it down into MIDI inputs and MIDI outputs. So again, I want to take MIDI out. So I would tap on that. And then these are my choices. So again, I select that device and it's connected. Tapping on it removes it. Or I could come into the synthesizer app and now I want to say MIDI inputs here and then I want it to come from that as well there too so it just depends on you know which way that you want to do it and notice I can come in here it shows that it's connected going I can remove that it's gonna be uh, disconnected there so that's what I'm referring to there's there's many ways to do these things in terms of routing for MIDI connection so at the very high level that is pretty much all you have to do to do your MIDI routing within AUM in terms of devices in here. So let's just go ahead and demonstrate this here. So I'll come back. I'm going to use this method here. MIDI out. I'm going to go to the Synth app. Let's just go in here and punch in a few notes. And I should have my volume up. And then we hit play. You see the notes playing, it's going into the synth app. And then when you tap on your MIDI table, you can actually see your signal coming out of here going into that. That's essentially it. it it's not very hard. Um, I know it. there may be additional questions, but I can't stress enough. Try this first. You know, get this down, and then as you start to look at other options, um, again, there's additional content. So I hope this, again, gives you at least a start. And if you have any questions around this, feel free to drop comments down below. Um, I'll work on some other videos, again, that go into a little bit more in-depth, including hardware, and uh, stay tuned for those. Again, thank you for your time. You know the rest of the drill. Stay safe, have fun, and I do hope to catch you in another video. Until then, keep jamming.